and you walk through the club and you just, they just smile at you because you, you know them, you see them every day here. So it's just like a little community. You can start a career. I started off as just a job and um, I, like I said, I worked my way up. Um, the club industry will back you no matter what. Everybody is always laughing with each other and smiling. You walk past the same person five times a day, you still say hello. It's a happy place to work and that's what I enjoy the most. I think clubs provide not only facilities but an outlet for people to get together and communicate. And I think people like to feel part of a larger family than their own family. Clubs are different places to work. A lot of people don't realise that they're actually not for profit. They don't have owners as such, the members own the clubs. And that means that there's a different culture there. They look after their staff very, very, very well and they do what they have to do to look after their members and their local communities. Our vision, our, our reason for being is to lead a sustainable club industry that is contributing significantly to community. In terms of its social contribution, the club industry invests 1.2 billion into the community via grants and financial contribution to sporting groups, to charities, to Meals on Wheels, to aged care. Yeah, we distribute between 600 and 1,000 meals a week. That is to people who are on low incomes. We supply homeless people with food. We don't get any government funding. We don't get nothing from corporate sponsorship. We only get from clubs. And without that, we just probably would not exist. You, you couldn't imagine the impact on, this, on the town if this club wasn't here. Simply the, the employment and the money that the club puts into the town the sporting facilities, uh, the, the sporting clubs. Yeah, we've benefited Narrabeen Beach Surf Club uh, right through the period that I've been a member, particularly so when I took over as president, from ongoing financial support from the URSL club. They've never lost touch with their community. I think that's with us by the amount of money they give back. People are really central to what clubs do. It's what they are. A club cannot open its doors without having great staff. In New South Wales, they employ 45,000 employees. There are 1,400 clubs across this state. Because they have variety in the work that they do, they provide a career structure for people. They're a very good employer that can offer a lot of opportunity and variety to people who, who come into the industry. When I first started here, I was just kind of coming here after I finished school and had no real idea of what I wanted to do but now I've kind of found that I love working in events and I would not never have known that unless I came here in the first place. I look after basically construction on site and future development. It's kind of like project management of the construction industry. I started working about five years ago just working in the bar and then I kind of progressed up the ranks and then I started managing the bar and then I was managing the whole club and then an opportunity came up to look after construction of new areas and here I am. They were really flexible and really supportive in, in helping my studies. My degree was in marketing, so I even had people from work here help me with my marketing assignments. They basically just said, if you want to continue studying, you should. You know, it only, only betters the RSL if we've got better trained employees. I'm a working mum and I, I really enjoy having a career and also being a mum. It's really important to me to have an employer that respects the importance of um, flexibility. That's something that is really rewarding and being a female manager, it gives me a lot of loyalty back to the organisation and a lot of respect. It's a great avenue for anybody who wants to better themselves. I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, you, you can come in there as a bar person or a salesman or whatever you want to be and work your way up to a CEO, which we've seen many people do, and, uh, you know, CEOs earn good bucks, <laughs> some, or so I'm told. I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd end up in a place like this. There's so many avenues you can go down. It's a very diverse industry with a lot of roles, so I think there's always going to be a niche for someone if they're looking to do something in clubs. Mateship is very important to them. Um, the care factor, friendship, camaraderie, that's what clubs are. They're the, the town hall almost of their every community. Clubs really are their people. The bricks and mortar are important to great staff, we need great directors to keep our clubs ticking and growing. Clubs, they're looking to progress and move on and it's up to the next generation to step into those roles and move them in the right direction. Yeah, I think uh, my life would have been different and without clubs it might have had a, a bit of a hole in it.